Welcome back to a brand new video. If you are new here today, hello and welcome. My name is Carrie Lynn. Here on this channel, I share budget-friendly DIYs, vlogs, homemaking content. So if you enjoy that, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. For today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you a vlog over the course of about a week's time. I just kind of picked up the camera here and there and combined all the videos together to bring you one long motivating video, so hopefully you enjoy. Um, here I'm just bringing in my groceries. I just got my Walmart grocery delivery delivered. Del my Walmart groceries delivered <laughs> to my door, so I'm just bringing those in real quick. I'll get everything set up on the counter and share with you a quick haul. All right, y'all, so here is my large grocery order for this week. Um, I spent $269 and I got lots and lots of food. So let me show you what we're gonna be having this week. So starting over here, I got two pizzas. We got um, Supreme and just a plain pepperoni. We got a big pack of the Little Bites muffins, some tortillas, bagels, of course, as always. Two loaves of bread, one always goes in the freezer, the other one I leave out. I got apples. <clears throat> I lost my voice. I got apples, lemons, limes, tomatoes, a spray mix for some salad. I also got some onions, hot dog buns, um, crispy red peppers. These are awesome inside of a salad. It's kind of like how Chick-fil-A oh, put some. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So I got those. And then coming this way, I got lots of different Lunchables um, just for quick, easy lunches. We got ham and American cheese, nach nachos and cheese. And then we have the pizza Lunchable. These are like, these two are my favorite. <laughs> I even like to eat Lunchable sometimes. Um, but then I got mushrooms, bananas, a big pack of waffles, a large thing of syrup because we still have a ton of pancake mix as well. I got a pack of cinnamon rolls. We got sweet cream butter, sour cream, strawberry jelly, ranch. I also got some garlic salt here, gar or onion powder, minced onion, and the Dano seasoning. My husband's been watching him on TikTok and he said his seasoning looks pretty good, so we're gonna try it out. I also got some spaghetti and meatballs, cranberry juice, milk, orange juice. And then coming this way, this is like where all of our dinners are. So we have a pack of steaks. This was like a little splurge for this week. Um, I got a big pack of chicken thighs, a huge pack of chicken breasts. This was $15.47, but this will make multiple different dinners. I'll just, you know, package it up. Um, we got pork steaks as always, a big chicken as well. These are great to smoke. Um, Dylan likes to do like a citrus chicken usually, and it's only $7.42 for this, so get a lot of chicken. And we can probably have like chicken and yellow rice or chicken and broccoli rice, which will be good um, as a dinner with the leftovers from that. I got a big bag of mixed vegetables, macaroni and cheese, Jimmy Dean sausage, and a pack of hot dogs, tater tots for a quick, easy dinner or lunch, and then I got two packs of broccoli and a pack of great value alkaline water. We do have our water filter system, but every now and then I do just like to grab a bottle of water, so I just wanted to have some ready um, for like on the go. So that's what I got for dinners. I will have like a meal plan linked, or not linked, I always say that, listed down below so you can see what we're gonna be making um, out of all this food here. But now I gotta put all this away. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it all to fit in the pantry and fridge. Our fridge right now is, oh, it's just a disaster in here. So I probably should have cleaned out the refrigerator before my groceries got in, but I didn't so here I am just kind of organizing as I'm loading it um, and this actually worked out fine but I will say I definitely need to get some new um, like little shelves for on the door of our fridge ours are starting to break like the one where the cheese is at now is actually cracked and broken this fridge is falling apart my ice maker don't work <laughs> now all like the little um, plastic pieces are starting to break and crack we're at like that three-year mark in our house and I feel like that's when things start going south 
I don't know. Lately, it's just been one thing after another breaking around here. Knock on wood, hopefully we'll be good for a while. Yesterday I told you I think that we made a mess. So here I'm just separating all the meats. So I ended up getting five chicken dinners out of all the chicken that I got. And then we have the steak right there in the bag. I'm about to be marinating that. We also got all the apples washed and I just kind of have them sitting here so they can dry. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and season. Well, first I wiped down the countertops because of all the groceries. I didn't want to make sure I got everything clean. And then I'm going to season the bag of steaks. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of different seasonings in the bag and kind of marinate it for tonight. Typically my husband would be doing this, but he was actually taking a nap. So I was like, ooh, well, let me take charge, right? So I put some uh, Wishershire, Wishershire, that <laughs> that's probably like the hardest word to say, Wishershire sauce in the bag and then some Dale's seasoning. This is usually what we marinate most of our steaks with. And then I decided to try the Dano seasoning that my husband saw on TikTok. I don't recommend it. We don't really love the flavor of it. We just don't think it's that great for the price. Um, we would much rather just get the two-step seasoning, which is our favorite. If you have never tried the two-step seasoning from Walmart, you need to get it. It's so good. They have occasion and then they have regular. And then I also think he has a fire too but that's the best one. The Danos, it's, I mean, it's not horrible. It just doesn't have a whole lot of flavor for the price that you pay. But anyway, I added that all to the bag, added some minced onion, and then I'm going to just rub this into the steak really well. Now, I will say these turned out really good, but I mean, what steak doesn't turn out good on the grill? So, I mean, you could really season the steak with anything you want, and it's probably going to turn out okay. A few hours later when my husband got up we came outside to tackle some yard work every single week we have to mow because it's florida it rains here a lot and the grass starts growing like crazy around this time of year um so this is literally one week since the last time we mowed <laughs> and look how bad it is already so we started to mow the yard or he started to mow and the mower started spitting and sputtering and started acting up on us so we couldn't figure out what was wrong we thought maybe water got in the gas so we drained the mower out and then I went and got new gas, came back, filled it up, got new weed eater string, which was the wrong size, had to take that back. It was just a whole thing. <laughs> um, but finally turned out that it was like the filter that was wrong with the mower. But while I was at Lowe's, I got some plants. <laughs> I got two grapefruit, or actually, sorry, I got one grapefruit tree, one orange tree, and then I got this crepe myrtle tree that I'm so excited about because it's huge already. Um, and I just, I love trees. I love plants in general, and I really want our yard just full of all different types of plants. Um, that way it'll just feel like a serene place out here. I feel like for a while it was just like, a yard with a fence up and there was not a whole lot going on and I'm trying to slowly but surely plant new plants and learn about them as I go um, so I'm digging a huge hole <laughs> to plant this crepe myrtle tree real quick so you don't realize how big these trees are until you try to get the actual tree out of the pot <laughs> I was definitely a struggle so I tried like sitting on it to try to like loosen it up well that didn't work so then I decided to chop it up with the shovel and see if I could break the pot down and this actually helped a lot it, I was able to get the tree pulled out of the pot at this point um, but before I put the plant in the hole that I dug I did put water in the bottom of the hole to give the you know bottom of the roots fresh water but once I got the tree set up, I quickly realized that my hole was not quite big enough, so I had to continue to dig. <laughs> I finally got the crepe myrtle tree planted, so I'm giving it a really good watering, and then I'm going to move on to planting the two other citrus trees. Nobody told me to settle down, day nights and late nights don't get
All right, so the yard is done for now. I definitely wanna get more trees and stuff. I have this like green thumb going right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I came inside to start a little bit of laundry. And while I was folding this, I was also cooking dinner as well. We made some mixed vegetables, macaroni and cheese to go with the pork steaks that I seasoned earlier in the video. And my husband did grill those. And this is how dinner turned out. The next morning, instead of tackling a DIY project like I would typically do, I decided it was time to tackle my closet. It got so out of control. Oh my gosh, how embarrassing, but you know, it happens, it's life. I had pillows stacked up in the back corner over here, things that I wasn't using, and then one day I was searching for something and it just piled up and I just kept shutting the door, out of sight, out of mind type of thing, but today was the day I was tackling this space, decluttering, organizing it, and of course I had my daughter in there to help me out, which was fun. She kept trying on shoes and clothes and it just turned into like a little one of those things that you're probably gonna remember forever even though you're working on like a household task it was it ended up being really fun so we enjoyed that um and thankfully i got my closet all clean and organized in the process and one thing led to another after cleaning out my closet i decided it was time to tackle this horrendous mess underneath my bathroom sink it has gotten so bad, but I actually pulled all the stuff that I had stored in the other bathroom into this bathroom because I'm putting cabinets behind the bathroom door in here, um, floor to ceiling, so that way we'll have lots of storage for our things. We have no linen closets in this house and things that typically wouldn't be underneath the bathroom sink, we have to store in here you know, because we have nowhere else to put it. So I'm excited to get that ca those cabinets done so I can have everything organized and everything will have its own space. Um, but here what I'm doing is going through all of my face products, hair products, any perfumes that I have not touched that I planned on wearing that I don't wear, I'm actually putting all those in a separate bag and I'm gonna let my sister-in-law go through those to see if she wants any of it. Um, if not, no big deal. She can just either toss it or give it to someone else. Um, but some of these perfumes, I've literally like sprayed one spray and they've given me a headache. I, I'm very sensitive to scents, but I know that she likes perfume, so I put some of those in there just in case she wanted them. Now that I got all of the bathroom organized and cleaned, it feels much better. Now I can feel like when I work in here and I finish up the cabinets, it won't be so chaotic organizing everything into those bins. But here is a before and after on how it turned out. And now I'm actually gonna be putting a plate cover on this recep that has been uncovered, I think since the day we moved in. <laughs> It has been so long. Um, it, I don't know why there was never a plate cover on it, but I'm going to add one real quick. And yes, I'm using a handy dandy butter knife. If you can't find a flathead, butter knife always works well. Okay, so in a recent video, I did a dining room refresh. And in that video i actually borrowed a photo from my bathroom so i just took down that round mirror out of my bedroom i'm putting this mirror in its place and then i'm gonna switch the round mirror and the the artwork that i put in the dining room i'm gonna switch those two and put the artwork back in the bathroom I hope that makes sense. Um, but I originally only borrowed the artwork just temporarily to see what it would look like with the large scale art on that wall. This picture I got from Hobby Lobby, it's supposed to be in here. I love it in my bathroom. I love the way it looks. And I don't plan on, you know, taking this out of here again. I, like I said, I only did it temporarily. So that way there was something in the dining room. Um, and then I actually washed my shower curtain. So I'm gonna fix all the hooks here and put the shower curtain back up. Um, so that way it's flesh and clean. Once that 
that was done, I did decide to use my newest steamer that I got from Amazon and clean the bathroom. I'm still giving this steamer a chance. I feel like, so here's the thing, in my one of my videos I talked about getting the steamer. I think it was like in my last vlog, um, but I said that I didn't love it, but now it's like growing on me. <laughs> I actually really like it. It was to the point where I can't, when I start using it, I become obsessed. And then I start cleaning everything, the walls, the baseboards. I literally start cleaning everything when I whip this thing out. So I think what it was is I had like a really high expectation of some of the stains that I had that I expected it to get off. And while it does clean really well, it, it won't get rid of everything. So just keep that in mind. But so far, I do like it. I still probably would recommend going, going ahead and buying the Bissell Steam Shot, the actual brand. Um, but if you're on a budget and you want a steamer, then this one's not too bad. I just don't want to link it and you guys hate it. So I'm not going to link this particular one, but read your reviews, double check, always do your research before you buy anything that anybody ever recommends. Please, y'all, make sure you do your own research because everybody's different. Um, but here, I'm steaming the heck out of this countertop, <laughs> and I'm going to get it all clean, and then I ended up cleaning my walls, my baseboards, everything, the doors, so I'm just going to share that with you guys too. So basically, this turned into like a full bedroom refresh, like literally like a refresh, like I'm freshening the space. I know sometimes like I put refresh in my titles because I'm actually like redecorating or something, but sometimes you just need to like refresh with what you got and just clean. Just a nice good clean will do wonders for a space. So um, if you don't have the budget to go out and buy all new decor, maybe just pull something out that you had before and try it in the space again. Um, do a really good, you know, cleaning. A good fresh summer clean not even a spring clean we're doing a summer clean because I skipped the spring cleaning this year <laughs> I went straight into summer and I should not have skipped the spring cleaning because these doors were something bad like there was so much dust and grime and just like ugh. it took forever to wipe these clean but the steamer does help so much at like just kind of loosening everything up so then you can wipe it clean with like a, a wet towel and that's what I'm doing here I'm just steaming everything and then taking that towel and just wiping it clean um, and it's amazing like what all comes off of these doors like sometimes you think like oh they're really not that bad until you clean them and you look at your towel and you're like oh gosh <laughs> did anybody else notice watching this video I did want to point out that my doors are not perfect my baseboards are not perfect and whenever I really zoom in here you get to see the true imperfections of a home a lived-in house it's okay if your baseboards look like this sometimes it's okay if the doors get a little scuffed up a simple coat of touch-up paint does wonders um, and that's basically what I'm gonna be working on pretty soon so that's why I'm working so hard at cleaning everything really well so that way I can do those touch-up paint jobs and stuff but just keep in mind that it's okay to have a lived-in home I know from a distance you guys don't really get to see this stuff up close often because a lot of times I film from like you know a further away angle but I don't know something just really made me want to include these clips in here and zoom in and really show you what it looks like true raw form of my house and I I do try my best to take care of it and make sure that we take care of these scuff marks and things but I feel like this is normal wear and tear of a home um, I don't know or maybe we're just super rough on our house who knows <laughs> y'all let me know in the comments does your baseboards look like this and your door frames get like little fingerprints and and scrapes and marks like let me know or uh, do you touch them up often i i actually just saw um lynn white she found this little pin on amazon that you can fill up with paint you know whatever color paint you have like on your walls or your baseboards and stuff and you can just keep it stored and you can just go around with this like little pin and touch up i thought that was genius i definitely want to look into that um, and I, when she mentioned it on her video, I thought it was just super cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. Crazy, we 
Also, one more thing I did want to point out is, yes, there have been multiple outfit changes in this one day, and it's because I could not find anything that I was comfortable in. <laughs> I literally changed my clothes, I think, four times in this video. It's still the same video. I went from wearing, I think, leggings, and then I went into wearing, um, like, floral-colored shorts because I tried them on while I was decluttering. Then I put on these shorts, and then I changed my shirt, I think, four times. I don't know. I feel like I, I went through a lot of clothes today, um, but it's still the same day. I'm just trying to get comfortable, um, but I did uh, grab a bucket with warm soapy water, and I'm wiping down my dresser, my bed, the nightstands, and anything else that needed to be cleaned in this room. After wiping things down, I did remember that there was a few paint marks on the floor that I needed to get up and the steamer works great for that. So back when I did a makeover in this room originally, when I first did the accent wall, I went in with a super dark color. It was called Iron Ore by Sherwin-Williams. That's a really great deep color if you like really dark and moody. Um, but I did get a lot of paint on the floor and I had every intention on coming through with a razor knife and scraping it up. but. I never did. So here I am taking the little steamer again and just steaming those paint marks right up and then they wipe right off. It's awesome. y'all so my master bedroom has been deep cleaned baseboards have been wiped down doors have been cleaned i've rearranged a, just a hair i'll show you guys in just a second but it looks so much better in here so much cleaner it even smells cleaner i don't know just because it's been a while since i've really wiped things down but the bathroom looks amazing i like steamed the floors and the baseboards and stuff and then i did come in here and organize all this. So this looks so much better. That was horrible, you guys. It was kind of embarrassing to show that, but anyway, it happens. But now I wanna show you guys the closet here. So this <laughs> is like night and day difference from what it was. It looks so, so much better. Um, definitely feels <laughs> like a whole new space. We went through my shoes. We went through all these bins here that were overflowing. I got rid of so much stuff. Put away a lot of like the winter clothes that I'm not going to be wearing for a while. Um, organized all of our stuff up here in the bins. And my daughter did help me with that. So I didn't film a lot while she was helping. But super thankful that we got this done. Um, and that she helped me out with that. But I, oh, I was going to show you. I did put this back here just because it was taking up so much floor space right here and I like to have my mirror here instead. So I decided to put that at the end of the closet and it actually works well. We can still access um, the other little shelf that's right here and we have like more storage. That's like a hideaway storage area, but yeah, looks really good. Um, and like I said, the mirror's here now and then coming this way, it freed up this space here so now we can put our laundry, our laundry basket here instead. 
We usually try to like shove the laundry here, but it doesn't quite fit because I am doing cabinetry behind this door. So I have cabinets stacked here. So now we'll be able to keep our laundry basket here instead. And like just the door and everything is so clean. Oh, it feels good. There's like definitely some scuff marks and things that I need to touch up with paint. But overall, she's looking real good. And I'm hoping to one day come in here and do like a decor refresh i kind of want to change out actually we are going to be changing out the chandelier to a ceiling fan <laughs> just because it's more practical um it's hot as heck in this room this was an addition done like years and years and years ago and it's not insulated as well as the rest of the house so this room just stays hot so we want to get a ceiling fan um just so that way we'll stay cooler hopefully but anyway that's that for the bedroom i gotta shut this door because this one little room right here stays so hot and the bathroom also makes the room hot too so I try to keep the doors shut but look how cozy it is with the lamps on Ooh, I love it okay so a few months ago I purchased an air purifier and I told you guys that I would update you as I've used it to let you know if I recommend it or not and I definitely definitely recommend so um, I actually just ordered new filters for it, so I'm going to be putting in the new filter, and this is what it looks like. Let me show you before I get everything. So this is what the air purifier looks like. This one, I think, does 300 square feet. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I'll leave it on the screen. <laughs> but it does a pretty large space. I know that. And um, it comes with these filters, which this is the used one. However, I did try to clean this. I'm going to be honest. I tried to like save money like, oh, take it outside and, and clean it out with the blower. Don't recommend. Um, it even says not to do that. So don't, don't do what I did. But the filter, you guys, when I first changed it, and it was just on a whim. I didn't end up filming it. There was like a layer of dust and dog hair and just, I don't, I can't even begin to explain how horrible it was in just like a couple months time. And it does say to change it like every it tells you when the filter needs to be changed on the actual thing, but anyway, I got new filters, so I'm going to be setting it back up because sorry, it's so bright. Sorry, um, because I can definitely tell a difference, and I do feel like it's helped a lot with the allergies and stuff. Both of my kids, I think, suffer from allergies. They get into these coughing fits occasionally and like a lingering cough, and it. I think it honestly had a lot to do with their school, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I, but I, I noticed that when we were using this, it wasn't as bad. So, got me a brand new filter. I'm going to be installing. And um, I'm so excited. And I actually love the air filter so much, I decided to buy another one. And the one that I bought is for a bedroom. It's a smaller one, so it doesn't take up a ton of space. You don't have to like... I don't know it's not as big and bulky as this one so here it is let me see why is this not fitting <laughs> oh there it goes okay okay and this boom but this is the new one that i got right here this one's called a Live it, live it. I don't, I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I wanted to get one for the kids' room because just to see if, like, the air quality if it makes them feel better and not cough as much. So, we shall see. Um, oh, it's cute, I like it. It's not like too big or bulky, it's not like an eyesore either, which I like. Like, sometimes I feel like these things can, you know, not look the best, but I like this one. This one's like very simple. So I'm gonna put this on a little bookshelf. Yay, cool. Oh, you can add essential oils to it if you want to. I don't use essential oils, but you can if you want. So, huh. I'm excited to see how these work. I'll definitely keep you updated on this one as well just because um, I know these are like an investment and like sometimes you might like not know if it's worth it. So I totally get it. But this one, definitely recommend. 
for sure. If you would have seen the filter, y'all would have been shocked. Like it was, <laughs> I can't even, I, it's honestly crazy how bad it was. And that goes on like that. And we got our cord here. Okay, so for testing purposes, I'm gonna test it out in here. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, I like it. So you have high sleep mode, low. I love it. Cool. So I'll try this in their room and see how they like it. All right. So yesterday um, I was sharing with you my air purifiers. Well, how about I got the packaging open for the new replacement filter, put it in the air purifier and it wouldn't work. <laughs> um, I don't know why but it says it's compatible with that specific air purifier, but it is not. So that was a bummer. I have to return those. They were kind of expensive. The filters for those air purifiers are on the pricey side, but I feel like it's worth it when it's cleaning the air as well as they do. So I don't mind splurging a little bit on that. Um, but yeah, so I have to return those because that one wasn't working. But the little one worked really well last night and it has like a really nice sound. It's not like overbearing. Um, and what's crazy is we actually put a new rug in the kids' rooms a couple days ago and it had this like distinct new rug smell and I don't like stuff like that. I don't like, I just like nothing. I don't like to smell anything. I just want it to smell just clean and just like nothing. <laughs> but their room smelled like a new rug and since we put that air purifier in there, you can't smell it, which is pretty crazy. I feel like it's like sucking the smell out of there, which is cool. Um, but anyway, this morning we went and got a coffee, went to Walmart, I had to get the kids new shoes for the summer. So I wanted to share them with you guys because I think these are super cute. Walmart Y'all, Walmart has some really nice quality clothing and shoes. If you are on a budget, definitely check them out. Um, I feel like you can't beat it. I've been shopping at Walmart since my kids were babies. I've always shopped at Walmart as a kid as well. And I buy almost all of my tennis shoes from Walmart because they're always comfortable. I get the memory foam. And what's nice is that Walmart shoes usually come in wide width. So if you got a wide foot like myself, they're great. Um, but the kids usually get shoes from there as well. And I found these. So actually my daughter picked them out. Um, they look like cotton candy. I thought they were super fun for the summer. And these were $21.98 and they're the Andy brand. So I don't know, it's different. I've never heard of it, but I just, I like the look of the shoe. So we got those for her. And then my son picked out these. They are the Airwalk brand. And I let him, I was like, we're looking for size 12. So he put them off the rack and he's like, oh, these are size 12. And I'm like, are you sure? And I never looked. I know, I know what you're probably thinking, like why wouldn't you double check? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, are they size 12? He's like, yeah, so I'm like, okay, cool, let's try them on. We put them on his feet and he walked with them on in the store, but his socks were a lot thicker and um, they fit him fine. We get home and I realize they're not the right size and they're slipping off of his heel as he's walking. So it's gonna rub his heel raw and they're size one, not size 12. So we're gonna return these, but they're super cute. Um, like I said, these are the Airwalk brand and these were, $24, so not bad at all for a new pair of shoes for the summertime. I also got a pair of tennis shoes. I These are the ones I got, I'll take them off, but I'll show you what they look like on. So these are what I got. Mine were $19.98. Um, these are the flexible midsole memory foam. I like them. I like just a plain white tennis shoe, um, and I'm really into this style recently. Like, I don't know, I like them. I got me another pair. Um, Burlington, they were a Levi's tennis shoe. You might have, you might remember them when I shared a haul on all my athletic wear that I got from Plato's Closet too. And those, um, I like them. They're just a little too big for me. I should have sized down on the Levi's because they run big, but they didn't have my, I think the reason why I didn't was because they didn't have my size. So they're just a little uncomfortable to walk in like distance, but these fit me better and I can definitely wear these like to a theme park or something like that. And get some use out of them and they're nice and I like the white and I like that I can wipe them clean too because they're like a faux leather. Like I said, those were $19.98 and they were the time and true brand. I also got a new bra and I know this might be TMI for some of you but it's life. I feel like bikinis are more skimpy than bras nowadays to be honest. Um, but this is the No Boundaries brand push-up. If you're looking for a good push-up bra that is not uncomfortable, that actually lifts and just feels nice, 
I love this brand. Um, like I said, this is the time and wait, no, this is not time and This is the no boundaries push up natural lift with flexible comfort wire. Um, and I do size up in these just because the cup is like kind of small. So I, I size up. I love this bra. It's silky. It's soft. It holds up well in the wash machine. Um, I have one that's green. I have this one and then I have a green one too. And after buying the green one, I was like, dang, I should have got the black one when I was there. And guess what? They didn't have my size, but I went by there today just to, you know, look, just take a peek and they had it. So I grabbed it. Um, definitely recommend this bra if you like something comfortable and you don't like, you know, how like sometimes the wires, I, I like an underwire because it gives me support. Um, I feel like without the underwire, I need the underwire. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so this one is not like uncomfortable. It doesn't sit and like dig in and irritate, at least for me. And maybe it's because I do size up. Maybe that's why it doesn't dig in. Um, but I just, I love this bra. So got that. And then I got the kids each a 4th of July shirt. Um, they're in their closet. Let me go grab them. I'll show you. So here's the shirts that I got. Each of these were $5.98. Um, and they are just by the Way to Celebrate brand. Um, yeah. So I got them each one. They're the same like shape. Just we got a unicorn rainbow. And then we have a sports car here. I thought this was super cool. Um, so he got this one and she picked out this one. So that will be for 4th of July. For me, I actually have a blue like tank top that I'm probably going to wear because it's going to be hot as heck. But what's nice is the blue shirt that I have matches like her blue or not her blue, it matches his. It matches the blue right here. So I think it'll be like good to be all like coordinating in some way. <laughs> um, even though it really doesn't matter. We go up to my family's property and the kids get, but we all get dirty up there. We usually go for a ride like on the side by sides and stuff, but they got a cute little shirt to wear for 4th of July. Um, but now we're gonna run back to Walmart because I told them that I would get them some fun things to like keep them busy for the summer because we are already hitting that stage where we're kind of getting bored. Um, so I'm gonna get some Play-Doh, just like a Play-Doh kit for them to play with. And then I'm gonna return and exchange his shoes so that way he has a pair that fit him. Cause right now he only has one pair of tennis shoes and then two pairs of boots. Um, so he definitely needs these. We just gotta hope that we can find a size 12 because if not, that's going to be a bummer because he loves these. He's like, these look like hunting shoes because they have like the camouflage, but it's like army camo. I don't know why he thinks that, but it's cute. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. Um, so let's go. So we got this huge Play-Doh kit right here. It came with 20 pieces. I just realized I had 20 packs of Play-Doh. That's a good deal. It was 20 bucks, but it came with a little... Um, little toys as well and the containers so they can just throw everything back in there when they're done playing and then i got these these were on clearance for like three bucks they're the scented ones so those are gonna be cool and then just like a regular pack here so that should keep them busy all we summer got long a bunch of play -Doh. yeah so they didn't end up having the same shoes but he picked out these instead and they're super cute so got him those we got some oranges lots of bananas i'm trying to eat more bananas for like potassium because i've been dealing with like muscle spasms and stuff and i think it's from working out a lot of you were commenting saying that i need more potassium and possibly magnesium so i've been eating bananas every day trying to like up my uh potassium intake <laughs> i got some dressing here this is the creamy um caesar this is so good but i actually took it over to my sister-in-law's house the other day and i left it in her fridge so that sucks but i ended up getting a new one and then i got a canvas or two pack canvas set so Dylan and I are gonna have like a date night and we're gonna paint at home so we thought that would be really fun he's been watching Bob Ross on TikTok so I got some paint brushes some more paints two canvases and then I also got smaller canvases here just to kind of practice on so I got those too I've been trying to like learn how to paint but needed more canvases so I grabbed those the next morning, I don't even know how many days it's been now in this vlog, but this was a new morning. We had we had drained our pool a couple days ago because our pump was messing up and the water just got to the point where I didn't feel comfortable adding any more chemicals to it. Plus, we're trying to transfer over to a saltwater pool, so we didn't want to add more chemicals. Basically, you want to get your water um, 
to like a good pH and then you can switch to salt so that's what we're trying to do but while we drained it we also decided to move it and turn it to where it was in a better position it also leveled out better um, but now the pump will be behind the pool so you can't see it from the patio which is really nice so it's not so much of an eyesore um, and during all this shenanigans we decided you know what today's a good day to bathe Zoe <laughs> um, so she's getting a bath real quick Once we got all the water drained out of the pool, um, or most of it, we were able to tip it over. By the way, I've gotten a lot of questions asking if I recommend this pool, and so far it's held up great for us, and we have obviously <laughs> mistreated it a little bit. Um, this is an Intex 10 by 30 inch pool, so it's not very big at all, and it was fairly inexpensive at the time when we purchased it. I think we got it on... Um, on sale for like 150 bucks like at the beginning of the summer so it really was not actually it was the beginning of the spring when we bought it um but i mean i recommend it if you're looking for something small as you can see it's not very big compared to like my husband and i sitting here um, but it's great if you have kids or you just want to jump in and cool off so you know and it's also low maintenance um the pump that it comes with is complete garbage by the way so don't even expect to be able to use that we do um, get a sand pump so that way it works really well for the pool um and here i'm just kind of wiping it clean with the broom and then spraying it out with the hose and then we're going to start refilling it well first we're going to actually spin it so we decided to spin it and put the pump on the back side instead and this also helped us re-level it too while we worked on it because after Filling it the first time, we realized that the back end dropped down a little bit more than what we wanted, so we did fix that while we were at it. Once we got everything in place and got the pool filled up, I wanted to give you an overview of how our backyard is looking currently. Also an update on some of the plants that we planted around the pool. Everything seems to be doing really well. I don't know if it's just a rainy season here that's making everything look real good, um, or if somehow I developed a green thumb, I don't know, but things are definitely growing in and looking real beautiful, so I'm super happy about that. I will have a few videos linked down below um, you know, on the process of doing all this if you guys want to check it out but yeah she's coming together I can't wait to get some more plants and stuff and keep working in the yard and I will definitely share you know as time goes on to close on this video I'm going to share with you something that we did as a family on Sunday morning so this is really random but I highly recommend doing this with your family so y'all know earlier in the video I shared with you that I got canvases paint brushes and paint well, we all sat down at the kitchen table as a family, turned Bob Ross on the YouTube TV, and we followed along on one of his paintings, and it was so much fun. Dylan and I both really enjoyed this. The kids ended up kind of painting their own little thing, but it turned out so good, um, and it was just something different. So, highly recommend doing this. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights
Don't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down As you can see we definitely spent lots of time working on our paintings and I was the last one at the table but as Bob Ross says talent is a pursued interest anything that you're willing to practice you can do <laughs> so I took this very seriously and this is how my painting turned out I love it the table is a complete disaster but it was worth every second of it by the way all that paint comes right off with soap and water it's acrylic paint so it comes clean really easily um but yeah i have a little bit of work to do on my little barn but here is an overview of all of our paintings here as you can see i think they all turned out really good very unique and we had an absolute blast don't forget to do this with your family or friends it is worth it trust me and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me over the past couple days i'll see you guys all in my next one bye y'all